<laughs> Sorry guys about the acting. Uh this is so cool though. It's so cool. I absolutely love this visual effect. I okay, I found this on Reddit. And a bunch of people had said how to put mobs on ceilings. Um, and if you haven't already guessed, we can go through it again. Um, but it's this really cool effect. If we go ahead and reset that there. It sets a bunch of barrier blocks. And they're all named Grum or Dinnerbone. Uh, in this case, Grum. And so, it, even though they're walking on top of the barrier blocks, it looks like they're walking on the ceiling. They then come down on these awesome spider webs, threads, slowly, and then uh, that one's stupid and suffocating, <laughs> and then they fall down, and only after they get to the ground do they kill you. So, explanation time. Let's jump right into this. So you first press a button here, and that will just simply clone this sign saying, I uh, do not look up. And then it'll these command blocks will clone this fast pulsing clock and set it up so that it's constantly pulsing this test for command. And this, in effect, will essentially test for if a player is looking up or not. It's currently test for if you're looking straight or down and then inverts the signal, so it effectively tests if you're looking up, but, you know, a roundabout way to do it. It sets the redstone block in here, which will fill all of the areas uh, with barrier blocks, and then these six spawn spiders by the name of Grum, so they're upside down on top of the barriers. These are then resets of the clock. It then clones this I warned you sign there that appears after a little while. And then, after a long delay, so like, you know, you can see them crawling on the ceiling. This is the important command. It executes at all entities named Grum, so all the upside down spiders. Uh, at the upside down spiders, it will summon a spider that is riding an invisible chicken. Why is it riding an invisible chicken? Well, that is because when it is spinning its web, the effect, it's it, it needs to come down slowly. And so the chicken allows it to glide down slowly. And because it has the ambient effect of one, you can't even see the particles hardly. So it's pretty much like they're not there. And then we're going to kill all the grum entities. Or really, we just TP them down, but that way we don't get the... Uh, death animation and so effectively it switched all the upside down spiders with right side up ones riding chickens the next ones are just simply getting rid of the barriers so that they can then start falling down it will then summon the it will have particle commands it will summon the particles the enchantment table particles actually within like a one wide little thing so it looks like a little string right and it will summon them above the chickens so it's important to summon them above the chickens because this is a really easy way to tell when the spider needs to have the web and once it's reached the ground. Because we are also trying to kill all chickens that are on the floor level. So essentially, we'll summon the enchantment particles above the chicken, but once they die, it won't summon them anymore. So it will have the web particles all the way until the spider reaches the ground, then they'll dissipate. So really simple really awesome. It will also kill all item drops for a short period of time when the chickens die. That's a really easy way so that you don't have to set the uh, game rule. It will then set a redstone block down here which will just trigger some reset stuff and that's pretty much it. It's so simple. This extra thing here is my debugging reset thing which just kills all the spiders uh, and resets the button and sign as well as uh, gets rid of the barriers if something didn't work out or something broke. Uh, that was kind of my debuggy, my debuggy button. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty amazing. This is new stuff, guys. It's not all my own idea. Like I said, the Reddit thread will be in the description where a lot of the stuff was discussed. However, I A, implemented it, and B, kind of added my own twist to it. Uh, it's so cool. So cool. That is just so awesome looking. I can't even tell you so cool looking. Let me do that one more time. But, as you can see, if you look up right away, it won't tell. It, it, you'll see them spawn, because, I mean, come on. You can't expect it to go that fast. So, it's something that 
Uh, you can work on the range or change around a bit, but I didn't. I didn't spend too much time trying to get the uh, how you look right. Uh, just some other ideas with this. Uh, maybe make it so that they drop down on you only once you look up. Uh, that would be just awesome. There's just so many cool things that you can do with this, guys. If you make a video with this or make an adventure map with this, this is a great adventure map idea. Do anything with it and make a video about it or put a Reddit thread or something. Let me know. Put it in the description. I'd love to see it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this and think it is as cool as I do. And I'll see you all next time.